you know, a lot of the Serbs have a sense of, because we've been immersed as a nation and culture in the life of Christ for so many centuries, we have a sort of antenna that can pick up on the presence of good or evil. And it's different than the New Age side roads that I had gotten into when I was off track in my younger days. And I think, you know, my mom would say certain things about her right eye dancing or left eye dancing and certain dreams she would have. And um, I kind of didn't really think much of that. But when, after I realized who God is and what the liturgy is about, how, how the liturgy is life, I started thinking back on things that would come to me that were not me seeking out, like my New Age days, but things that came to me without trying. And I was thinking back to the dream, the first dream I had when I was age 11, when my dear grandfather died, Colonel Velibor Dobric. I was very close to him. And we had just heard the news he had died. And I went to bed and I knew we were preparing to drive to that long, long road to Indiana from Delaware. So I went to bed and I had this very vivid dream and today I can still remember it just like it was yesterday. The colors were incredibly vivid. It, it was beyond anything I could ever paint. And I woke up and he was sitting on the edge of my bed. And I said, hi, Deka. I called him Deka, is uh, like grandfather in Serbian. And he said, hi, Arianche. And then all of a sudden, it was kind of like the Star Trek beam me up. We went to our backyard and sat on this bench that my father and him had made together. And he looked at me and he said, how are you? And I said, fine. Of course, I was thinking, I just heard you died. And he said, and I, I kind of just stared at him, at him after, he, after I asked him, how are you? And he said, oh, Ariancha, it's so beautiful up there. And I knew he was talking about heaven because I knew he just died. And then he looked at me and he said, the colors, they're like no colors you've ever seen. Do you want to come? Do you want to see the colors? And I remember so vividly thinking to myself, if I come, how can I leave daddy and mommy and Robbie, my, my mother and father and brother? That means I would be dead. In my little 11 year old head, I was very confused. And it was funny because he, his mouth didn't move when he talked. It was like just telepathic. And he heard my, he knew my thoughts and he kind of looked at me and said, it's okay. Don't worry. And then all of a sudden, we were back in my bedroom, and I was back. He tucked me in bed, and that was the end of the dream. And then the next day, we drove to Indiana for my grandfather's funeral, and I saw before me a lifeless person. And I realized he was no longer with us, that he had indeed passed away, and he had indeed visited me and came to me in that dream. And I was comforted by that dream as a young child because I thought, he's in heaven and it's okay. I didn't lose him, I saw him. And it was a very comforting dream, but now as an older person, I really wished I was able to have a glimpse, especially as an artist, just a little glimpse into heaven. That's my curious self again. But. That one dream was just the beginning of a life of many of these occurrences that are not new age, but once our life is immersed in the life of God, the life of the church, where our life is ordered correctly, where God is first in all things, above everything and everyone, above your mother, your father, above your wife, above your husband, above your children, God is first, that you choose God above all things, then your life becomes ordered correctly. And I truly believe, it 
my personal opinion that everyone begins to have these miraculous occurrences. I have them even to this day. They're too numerous to name where I'm struggling and I ha I'm comforted. Throughout the journey with my mother with dementia, I've had many of these comforting occurrences. And I hope the book opens everyone's eyes to once that order is established, that you do feel the active living presence of God in your life and everything becomes right again.